And then go into the book of Joel. The Old Testament book of Joel, which means Jehovah is God. The E-L is Jehovah, God, Lord. It's written about 800 B.C., before Christ. It's a warning to Judah that God was judged their sin. And Jeremiah closes. What we're going to read in Joel, Jeremiah closes in Lamentation. Now Amos, which will be the next book, Lord willing, I mean, Lord willing, we, Lord don't come before we get there, which means burden, written around 70, uh, excuse me, 700, 750 B.C., he writes to the Israel north, Joel writes to Judah south, Amos writes to Israel north, and Amos, as God will judge the people of Israel for their idolatry and oppression, it's the same thing. <coughs> so, going over to Joel, what's the message to the church? God is going to judge us. Us. Me. You. The unsaved. The saved. Listen, this is God's people. Well, if you are in the church, you are a child of God. Joel. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Haviel. Hear this, ye old men. You want a book for old men? There it is. Joel is written to the old men. Now, that doesn't say if you're not old or if you're a female, you know, you, know, you skip the book of Joel. It's no, you read the book of Joel. Talking to Judah. The old men of Judah. Give ear. Listen up. Shut up and listen up. All the inhabitants of the land Judah. Has this been in your days? Now let me ask you a question. Let's bring it up to date. Have you had COVID-19? Old men in your memory, Stiley? You're not old, but did, did, you, did you have COVID-19? No. Did you have gas almost five bucks a gallon? Well, I remember when I grew up that there was a shortage of gas. I remember something about the odd and even number, something. I forget exactly what it was. But I remember my parents, they had to wait in line, and we had to put a, a lock on the gas cap. I, I remember that. Wait a we got a problem with this thing, actually. I don't know why. I'll just run the video now. So, I remember that. Did you have a monkey pox? We didn't have monkey pox. We had chicken pox. Was there a war with, with Russia? Yeah. I mean, there was Cold War. There was Russia against America. In you know, an event of a nuclear war, we had to have... We would have to hide underneath our desk. It's cool. There wasn't as many shootings. I can go anywhere I want in New London, Connecticut, where I grew. Listen, let me tell you, as a little boy, I used to. Some of the people I hang around were, were prostitutes. And there are people that dwelt in drugs. An innocent little boy going down to go fishing at the city pier, they did me no harm. I didn't know who they were. They didn't talk about their filth. They didn't try to, you know, steal me. They just talked to me, you know, me carrying my fishing pole in, in a bucket. 
And then when we came to the park, they went their way, and I went my way. There are there homeless people I talk to. I was involved with much wicked sin myself. Tell ye your children of it. Let your children tell their children, grandchildren, and their children another generation. Great grandchildren. You know what's not going on in the church age today? You're not being brought up in the Bible. Grandma or grandpa gets sick, we send them off to the nursing home. And then we pay to send our children to a daycare. Grandma and grandpa used to be the daycare. And grandma and grandpa would teach them things. Grandma would teach the girls how to cook and make things in the kitchen. Grandpa would tell his lies, you know, a Christian, and the fishing and all the episodes, and suppose he, he lived in his life. You know, we got rid of grandma and grandpa, we got expenses of paying for our children for daycare. I don't know, maybe even night care. I don't know what goes on. That's a change. I, I was, very briefly, we are involved in a nursing home ministry. It's just, it was too heartbreaking for me. I talked to people there, you know, my son, you know, he dropped me off here and I don't know where they are. No one comes visit me. I'm not talking about people whose, whose family died. I'm talking about they have family. Drop them off at this building. Okay, we're, we're gone. That which the Palmer word has left as a locust eat. All right, so here comes the plague of the Palmer word. And he delights in what he delights in. And we're not going to get too much study about these insects, but... There's a plague upon the crops of the children of God, Judah. There was a plague upon the Egyptians in the book of Exodus. Our food is disappearing off the shelf. And they're not being replaced or being replaced very slowly. So the palmer worm has done his job. Now the locust come. And I have read, I have studied, and I've been told in locusts do not leave much behind. If you get a plague of locusts, you're in trouble. Because they'll wipe it out. And if you want illustrations, go over back to the book of Exodus with the plagues upon the Egyptians. And that which the locusts have left, not much, and what would be left is already still, it hasn't come up yet. The canker worms eat. And that which the canker worm has left has the caterpillar eaten. We are looking at a total crop failure because of sin. Now Judah is giving other gods the credit. Judah is boasting that look at what we have done. Judah is taking what God is giving and they're giving it to the enemies of God. I just bought a couple of things. And they're in China. And I have to wait because it's being shipped from China. I thought China was an enemy. I thought China gave us the COVID-15 or 19, whatever number it was. I thought China was a communistic country that killed babies if it wasn't 
the firstborn of male because they got the one baby rule. I thought China is a nation that kills Christians if they find you preaching in, in Bibles and teaching and evangelizing. What on earth are we doing having trade with China? Don't give me, oh, China's wicked and COVID-19 and how me. No, no, no. Most of our stuff, there's a big name store. I'm not going to get their name of Walton. And as most of the crap in that store is from China. And China fails. Mason, how Russia goes to war with Ukraine and how great our prices of gas go up. And the formula is disappearing. And my answer, you know, day I said on Facebook and I got sass. I said, with all this talk before, why don't we talk about putting the babies on the breast? And I said, didn't I say the other day, the breast, according to the Bible, is for a husband and for the baby. The Bible says about the time, let thy breast satisfy thee at all times. And then when Isaac was weaned, and she won't uh, tell them that give suck. Oh, every woman can do it. Because we're not talking about every woman that can do it. If we put the women to what they're supposed to be doing with their breasts and their baby, those that cannot breastfeed, maybe to be enough formula for them. But you know, the women want to—they they want their breasts to be shown. They want their breasts to be advertised so you can have chicken. They want their you know, breasts to be darkened by the sun at the beach. But they don't want to please their husband. They don't want to feed their baby. We're coming to a shortage that this country needs to open up Jeremiah, open up the book of Joel, and open up the book of Amos, open up the book of Hosea, and realize we have sinned the same sin as a nation and as a church. It's going to get worse. It's one of my pictures I post on Facebook. But only Jesus saved. Now salvation ain't going to get you food. Salvation ain't going to get you healed. It could. It doesn't get it. may not. The Apostle Paul suffered. <clears throat> Awake you drunkards. And weep. And howl. All you drinkers of wine. And this be wine that got fermented. Because of the new wine. The new wine is grape juice. For it is cut off from your mouth. Alright, now the grapes are gone. The wheat, the barley, verse 4. The olive tree. The honey. The new wine, the grapes, the raisins. The figs. They're going if they're not gone. I wonder this country how bad we get and how much it'll still make alcohol. Our riverbeds are drying up. There's, there's, a, there's a pond, river, lake or something in Nevada, is it? And it, it, it's, it's drying up and they're finding skulls and bones of missing people. They're finding cameras that people drop. These waterways, they're, they're slowly evaporating. The, the waters, they were, we're, we're getting drought conditions. They're finding cars that with bodies that were in them. There's a body of water somewhere in, in Western America. What they did is they filled in the air, and it was an old town. And they did is they, they moved everybody, they filled in the town, and then they filled it with water. And the water is evaporating, and there's been no rain, and this town is coming back from the ruins of the water. Disappearing.
When you start seeing the, the grocery store's shelves getting bare. When you start seeing the produce section getting bare. When you start seeing alcohol beverages disappearing. You've got the judgment of God. He. For a nation has come up upon my land. God speaking. Judah. This would be Babylon. Without number. Don't even try to count it. Whose teeth are the teeth of a lion. Now the devil's like into a lion. The adversary or devil seeking about who he may devour. Then teeth of a lion. They are, they are not only sharp. But they're strong. They can break bones. They can pierce into an animal. They are chasing on the run and hit that juggler vein or whatever, whatever they call that main vein of that animal and just bleed it to death. He has the cheek teeth of a great lion. Lions are an enemy in, in, in Israel. He has laid my vine waste, the, the lion. He scared off the workers. He has barked my fig tree. He scratches up against the fig tree, ruining the, the bark, which in turn will ruin the fig tree. Kill it. He has made it clean, bare. Now the fig tree is a type of self-righteousness. <clears throat> because when Adam and Eve sinned, and they realized they were naked, they didn't grab an animal skin to cover, they, get, they gathered fig leaves, and made themselves aprons of the fig leaves. People got it so wrong. You ever see the pictures? There's Adam and Eve, he's got that one little fig leaf up in his privates. She's got a fig leaf covering her, and she's got two fig leaves up on her on her breast. My friend, that ain't an apron. People draw those pictures, don't know what an apron is. They don't know what the Bible says. Has made it clean, bare, cast it away. Clean, bare, cast away means the fruit is gone. The leaves are gone. Now a fig tree, when Jesus came to that fig tree, and there was only leaves on it, there, was, there wasn't the time of the fruit yet. You come up to the fig tree now, and guess what? There's no leaves, there's no fruit. The branches thereof are made white, death, by that lion. You know what that lion's going to do to get rid of Israel, Judah? going to get rid of the food. And we saw that in Jeremiah's time. When Jeremiah's locked up in jail, give him some moldy, crusty old bread. That's what everybody's eating. We see that in Israel, North, they're eating dove's dung. Caca doo doo. Hey! Don't bury that donkey. That's a call with a donkey. Or ass. What, what do you mean don't bury that donkey? Or ass. Give me its head, we'll boil its head. Oh king! Oh king, help us! Oh, it, 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 from the threshing floor, what, what, what could I do for you? Well, you know, we both have babies. We agreed that if we boil my son today and eat him, then we're going to boil her son. Well, we boiled our son, my son, we ate my son, and she's hit her child. You know, America's going to pay for all the abortions. Be not deceived, God's not mocked. What shall a man sow? That he shall also read. You're going to pay for all the sodomite marriages you allowed. You're going to pay for all the, the convicted 
murderers that you did not put to death, but they are still alive right now in food and shelter and clothing and basketball and TV and a weight room and everything else they give prisoners. You're going to pay for that, America. At least when they put Jeremiah in jail, he got into this... Ugh. And have you seen the prisons of America? There are criminals living in a, in a, in a great place of, of air conditioning and heating and protection from the element while our U.S. veterans are outside sleeping on the sidewalk, sleeping in the woods. You're going to pay, America, because if Judah paid, if Israel paid, you're going to pay. The field is wasted. Why? Well, look at all the insects that came. Look at this lion that's coming in land, scared off the workers. You realize in America, the workers have been scared off? They're not going to work? Restaurants are closing because they can't find workers. Why? Because restaurants have abused their workers over the years. They are reaping and sowing. You cannot go to a mall on a black top surface and pick up tomatoes. Tomatoes don't grow on blacktop. Here in Daytona Beach, we're going everywhere. All the trees are being knocked. We're building all these apartment houses. You can't pick oranges. You can't grow the green beans where somebody parks their Mercedes Benz. That swimming pool, that luxury. There'll be no green beans or watermelons growing there. The fields have been laid waste. The land mourning. You gotta read your Bible to realize what the actions of the earth is. Now, she's not Mother Earth, but she reacts. Sin is getting rampant. Sin is getting crazy, and so is the Earth. This Earth is under a curse. The corn is wasted. That would be the wheat. It's gone. There goes your bread. The new wine is dried up. There goes your grapes. All right, you may get some raisins, but the raisins will go. The oil, which would be the, 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 the oil olive. There goes your anointing. There goes your face covering from the sun. Be ye ashamed. You know what's wrong with Americans today? They can't blush. A girl will step out of her house half naked with advertisement written and, and said to her, her body to draw attention and she don't care. A girl, a woman, a girl will go into church and, and, and you know, the church is, oh, you know, you leave them alone. You're not supposed to say anything to them. You know, the, the mean, nasty, wicked people that church, they, they told her to put some better clothes on. You didn't hear about modesty? Now, I'm not talking about someone who's at the church for the very first time. But when you've been to church for 5, 10, 15 years, and you're still dressed like that woman, you need to, your heart ain't safe. Your heart ain't right. But be ye shame, ye husbandmen. That's the growers. That's the planters. That's the harvesters. Why? Because they're going out 
and they get to the fields, death, drought, a new shopping mall, one of those dollar stores that are everywhere. Yeah, you can have all the dollar stores you want, but when you take away the, the, the place of growing crops, and that dollar is going to do you no good when there's nothing in that store that will satisfy your hunger. Was it one of those candy candy bars? We satisfy your hunger. Not when you ain't got no more peanuts. Not when your cocoa beans are gone. How will you buying dresses? That's the people that work out the vineyard. For the wheat and for the barley. Because the harvest of the field is perished. Gone. Dead. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in should not perish. You know, America wastes food. We'll have all these fairs and we'll make watermelon guns and shoot watermelons. And we'll take all the pumpkins and we'll carve little evil, wicked faces on them. And then the kids will come around and, and break them up and kick them up and, and take eggs and throw them at houses and throw them at cars. We're a great waster of food. You wouldn't believe the garbage of food that's wasted in L.A., New York, and San Francisco, and Tampa Bay that goes into dumpsters. And then you cry, what about the starving people? Some of that crap you put on the plate to make the plate look prettier. I don't look at that. The vine is dried up. No water. The fig tree language is oh, if I could have fruit. Oh, where's my fruit? The pomegranate tree. The palm tree also. The apple tree. And all the trees of the field are withered. Because the joy is withered away from the sons of men. Listen, when sin is rampant, sin is grown. There's no joy. Oh, you may get that intoxicating joy. You may get that, that pot reeling joy. You might get the red pill joy. That's only temporary. When you take your shopping carriage and you go to the grocery store and there's nothing there. Or when you've got to go to the grocery store and you've got a ticket, this is all you can get. You should saw what they had to live through on World War II. You should see, check out the pictures on the internet with, with England. London, all the food they had for a, for a week or a month. And there was no extra. And as I said, I remember a time, it just came to my thought right now, the gas shortage we had, you can only get X amount of gallons, no more. I think the pumps were stuck, but I, I don't remember completely. If I said anything, I'd be lying, but... You could only you couldn't have fill a gas can. There'll be no joy when God says, "Okay, drop the hammer." When the weatherman says there's no rain in sight, and it just then clouds are going to bring nothing. No. What was the great dust bowl in Western America? When America says, give us alcohol, you guys say, okay, here's some dust. That's all coming back. That depression, that error, that's coming back. 
Maybe God will take the alcohol away this time, not because of prohibition, but because there will be no alcohol. I don't know. Gird yourself. Get your clothes on. Well, uh, that's a word that needed today. Pull your pants up. Wearing your pants below your butt. You ingoramus. And lament. You know what that word is? Lamentations. Ye priests. Levitical priests. These are the right priests in Judah. Not like the priests up north in Israel. How? Uh, well, we just said to the, to the husbandmen, how? Now we're saying to the priests, how? Oh, Lord! You know, you know what the Lord said to Jeremiah? I ain't listening. Jeremiah, don't you pray. Don't you pray for them. Don't pray for that church. I'm not listening to this. They make me sick. Stop it. There's one church I don't even think of. It. Listen, I got pastors' names. I got churches in my prayer. That one church, I don't even pray. Yeah, I don't even want to think about it. I think that's God. Ye ministers of the altar, and that would be the brazen altar. Come. Lie all night in sackcloth, and that's an irritating cloth. That's a oh, that's a potato sack. We would have those sacks when I was in elementary school. We would have potato sack races. And if you wore, if well, you were allowed to, but if you wore shorts on what they called on field day, you wore shorts on field day. You were allowed. That's the only day you could wear shorts. And then you were called to the potato sack race. I'll tell you, when that stuff is rubbing up and down your bare legs, ooh, you felt it. But you don't have that anymore. I have silk. Ye ministers of my God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God has shut up and Joel has taken over. God said, okay, Joel, take over for me for a moment. For the meat offering, you'll find that in Leviticus. And the drink offering, you'll find that in Leviticus, is withholding from the house of your God. The temple. That temple's still there. The temple's still there, Jeremiah. But during Jeremiah, gets destroyed. What's going on? What's happening at the house of the God? If there's no grapes, there's no wine. If there's no wheat and no grain, there's no animal. Part of the meat offering was wheat. No leaven and no honey. At the, at the harvest, you were to bring your sheep. You were to bring a, a, the basket food uh, full of your offering. There would be none because there's nothing to bring. You show up at the temple. The priests are there. Well, where's your offering? Nothing. Nothing. And if you surely can't give it to God, you ain't going to give it to your family. God has even called off his offering. Now, you see how angry God is? I don't want your offerings. But you'll have nothing to bring. It was the law of tithing. It was the law to bring your offerings. And God's made it so we can't bring. Sanctify means set apart. Ye of fast. In your starvation. Don't eat. No food. 
So there's something. Listen, Jacob sent the boys into Egypt to get corn. At one point, he said, here's some almonds, here's some nuts. There's food. But it ain't going to satisfy you. I mean, there's only so much trail mix and bag you can survive. But remember, the grapes are going to go, the raisins are going to go, the fruits, the dry fruits are going to go. There is no storehouse in Egypt. And it's only going to get worse during the Antichrist line. Because he's going to make you, in order to get it, you got to receive the mark. But there ain't going to be much more to get. Because have you read the plagues of the book of Revelation? Go out and, and gather the fruit. And here's these beasts. And when they sting you like the tail of a scorpion, you are tormented for six months. You're going to want death. And, and you're not going to check. I don't think you're going to want to go out and pick tomatoes. From what I read, I don't know, maybe, maybe if you call them up, maybe they'll deliver it to you. I mean, they got things today. They, they, they got all these mechanics that will go, go out and, and harvest apples off a tree. But if there's no apples on the tree, you ain't harvesting nothing. Gather the elders. Those are the most important people in the land. And all the inhabitants of the land unto the house of the Lord your God. Get to the temple. And cry to the Lord. We're going to see in a moment, well, in another chapter. We're going to see the second advent of Jesus Christ. We are in the tribulation time in Joel. We are also in the time of Jeremiah. Jeremiah is, 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 a, is a book of history and a book of prophecy that the Antichrist is going to come and he's going to conquer and destroy Jerusalem. Alas for the day. You find that in Revelation. Alas, alas, that great city is born. Alas, her mo moment of time. All the great merchandise of Sam won. Alas, destroyed. And when that city is destroyed, all your groceries go bye bye. The water is turned to blood. Elijah said, Lord, we don't need no rain here. Your turn, Moses. Lord, whatever water we got left turned to blood. Whoa. Man, never mind Moses. But you got Elijah and Moses showing up. You're in trouble. And God said, whom they will. For the day of the Lord. That's the second advent. Is that it's not here yet, but it's at hand. And as a destruction from the Almighty God, the Almighty God's God, shall it come. Now that destruction is the destruction of Babylon in Jeremiah. When the temple and everything in Jerusalem is destroyed. That destruction of the Lord Jesus Christ when he comes is all the enemies of Israel, all the enemies of God. It's not the meat cut off before your eyes. Where's the meat? Where's the bread? There was a commercial when I grew up. Where's the beef? And never mind it. Where's the bread? Doesn't Jeremiah say the little children and their, their bellies are sticking? Oh, mama, where's the food? Mama, 
I'm hungry, Mama. I'm thirsty. The only way you're going to get some food, Mama, if you receive the mark, and I'm Jewish, I can't receive that mark. Starve to death. Woe well, unto them that give suck. Woe well, unto them that are with child in those days, Jesus said. But I just had to unzip my pants and have some fun. I'm praying. I'll go down and get a per get, I'll get an abortion. The abortion clinics will be closed. And if you did get an abortion, you need the mark of the beast. Oh, I'll just get some formula. Uh, in 2022, we're running out of formula. Oh yeah, Congress has sent some shipment from Europe. With all the babies and the, and the children in America, that's going to be drank up pretty far and quick. And I guarantee I know who's going to get that formula for a certain race of people, a bunch of people that's on welfare are going to get that formula first. I mean, after all, they got the certificate for milk, eggs, and bread, and formula. Just don't tell me I work for grocery stores. I work for ShopRite, I work for PriceRite, I work for Stop and Shop, I work for Win dixie I work for uh, Bradley's, uh, I work for Benny's. I think there's anything else in there. I've been stocked, I've been dairy, I've been frozen food, I've been cashier, I've been janitor, I've been meat department. Grocery getter, I mean a grocery cart getter. I know that, that that couple times a year. I know when those carriages are coming up, two or three carriages, and they got the best beef. They got the best food in those carriages. There are people that don't work for them. With them. I'm not allowed to say that, but I'm going to say it. I don't care if you don't like it. Those that don't like it are the ones that are doing it. Those that say, hey, man, son, those are the hard workers. And listen, you got a, you got a mother who, who's deadbeat husband, deadbeat boyfriend took off. All right, she needs help. I believe the government should go after that man. Meat's cut off. Yay! Join gladness from the house of our God at the temple. At the temple, not the restaurant. At the temple. There's no more offering. I know some Baptist churches. Ah, there's no tithes. Ah, no tithes. Ah, good. You know how those priests were paid? They were paid by the offering. They were paid by the tithing. They were. If the people don't bring nothing, if there's nothing to bring, the priests are not getting nothing. Everybody's suffering. Go back to Jeremiah. Go back to Lamentations. Go look at the land of India and how they're starving while mother cows walking around. Brr. Cut that thing open and have some hamburgers, will you? Don't you get on my TV. Oh, India needs money. Hey! Cut up, I don't care if it's grandma, cut up in that cow and eat that cow. Save the whale to after the green beans. Uh, uh, I know. Save the whale, but you won't save your soul by Jesus Christ. The seed is rotten under clod. That clod is the field. The, the, the plow is going through. They planted the seed. And that seed does nothing. Nothing. The seed rot. You ain't going to do nothing with rotten seeds. I found in my life, I found an old seed packet. I put those seeds in the ground, nothing. The gardeners, where they keep the... the, the the barns, where they keep the crops, the silos, the warehouses, 
The garners lay desolate. There's nothing in there. You know, you ever been in an empty place somewhere at night and you heard the crickets? It's dead. It's empty. There's nothing there but crickets. You won't even hear the crickets. They'll be dead. You probably won't have cockroaches. Everything's dead. Everything's gone. Cockroaches probably... Nothing can kill the cockroaches. Uh, this stuff will. And if there's even a tiny bit of food, the rat, the mice will get it. You know, they're unclean animals. You know they made golden mice, <laughs> the Philistines? You know, mice are worshipped by the Chinese? The barns are broken down. That's where you kept the animals. Go up to Connecticut. I can show you some places in Connecticut or approximately tell you what I can remember. You'll see barns leaning, falling. You see where they've collapsed. You see where there was a barn. There's no more barn. You'll go out in the fields of Connecticut and there's these rock walls. Where are those rock walls for? We kept animals. Where are the animals? Dead. Where's the farmers going? My sister told me 18 eggs cost their like six, six bucks or something like that in Connecticut. It's going to get worse. You wait till the chickens start dying. Where, is he, where, where are the, the monkey pox right now? We've already had the chicken flu or whatever that was. Swine flu. You wait to God attacks the whole barnyard. Old MacDonald had a disease. Death, 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 death. Die, 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 die. The cow can't move. The chicken can't cluck. The pig can't snort. Death, death, death. Die, die, die. You know what God will say? What will God say? Let the Easter Bunny give you eggs. Come on! You've been killing those eggs. You've been dying those eggs. Let the Easter Bunny bring you some eggs, darling. Let old Santa Claus, let him return the cookies he's stolen from you and the milk. Come on, let Santa Claus do it. I'm going to sit up in heaven and laugh. Look at you. Come on. Oh! Great America, Repu I'll give you a Republican president, let him feed you with nothing and you ain't got nothing no more. I'll, come on. I'm stepping back. I'm going to let you and your gods do it. Let Mother Earth, Mother Earth, oh Mother Earth, oh Mother Earth, oh Mother Earth, we'll let you, I'm going to turn off Mother Earth. I'm going to turn off the clouds. I'm going to turn off the fields. Look what we read so far. You know what Israel, I mean, you know what Judah's worshiping according to Jeremiah right now? They're worshiping the Queen of Heaven. And what they got left, they're going to make. And listen, instead of feeding their husband, instead of feeding the children, instead of feeding the wife, we're going to take what's left and we're going to make cakes to the Queen of Heaven. There's no more food left, Joel said. Chapter with chapter, book with book, study. Study and show thyself approved unto God, and work with me not to be shamed, right? Divine the word of truth. Divine the word of truth. Commentary of Joel and, and Jeremiah is they're making cakes to the queen of to heaven, and Joel says, you're running out of food. I'm going to make it right now. All right, you tell the queen of heaven to give you some cakes back. Tell all Nemo to bring you your weather. For the corn is withered. That's a tease. You say, what are you talking about, Stiley? There's the crop. There's the crop. There it is. But there's nothing. It's dead, dead. You know why? I know this is not corn as the corn of America, but in America, you take these corn stuff and you put them together and use them as Halloween decorations. Everything you waste your food on Estar, everything you waste your food on 
Halloween, everything you wasted on Christmas, everything you wasted on. That waste is going to come back and say, all right, come on. Come on. All those pumpkins you carved out. All right, bro. You can't bring one pumpkin. It's coming. How do the beasts groan? Even the beasts are suffering because of the sins of man. And there'll be people like today. Oh, you know what they'll do? They'll save the whale. But they won't save themselves. There are U.S. veterans suffering. But we got to save the manatee. we got to save the dog. Because there is more of a crime if you murder a dog than murder a baby. You can get life in prison for killing a cat. Now listen, I've watched these A&E court shows and all that. And I've seen somebody where they killed a family 15 years. Really? You know what my Bible says, Your Honor? My Bible says you kill blood for blood. With the option of parole. Then they get out and kill somebody else. Well, how did that happen? The herds of cattle are perplexed. Why? You've been worse. You know, you know what they're doing up, up in Israel right now? They got the golden calf. There's a computer company with a design of a cow. You can get your kitchen to look like a cow. You can go see a cow and get your picture taken and you don't know how to spell chicken. KFC. Man, that's not a cow. There are people who got on their cars, they got on their walk, they got the horns of a cow. Or ox. Their worship. Oh, we gotta have that T bone steak. We gotta have that sirloin. It's coming a day, you ain't gonna have it. You know, there are people in Ethiopia, they eat grass. Because they have no pastor. Well, where's the pastor? Where is it? Well, look at this strip mall we got. We got 18 closed stores and a dollar store and a place to get your nails done. You know, you know how you know it's a strip mall? If every strip mall has a place to get your nails done. There ain't that many nails in the world. We got that big time store at Walmart. 400 million parking places and six for the for the handicap. You ain't getting no beats out of that parking lot. And then when God comes along and what we're reading about and Joel comes along, you ain't gonna get no produce out of that store either. And the flocks of sheep are made desolate. These are everything, what we're reading about is everything the people of Israel, I mean Judah too, in corporate, they were to bring to Jerusalem. And they were to offer it to God, and God says, nope. You can't bring it because there's no more. Friend, you need to read about the Dust Bowl and the history, the proper history of the dust bowl that hit America because that's coming back. We just got hit right now. I think we're coming out of it. We just got hit from Africa, Florida. The dust storms from the deserts of uh, Alaska, uh, Africa. I'll get it right. O oh Lord, to thee will I cry. That's Joel. For the fire has destroyed the pastures of the wilderness. 
There's a lot of fires going on. The flame has burned all the trees. So what the what the insects started in Joe did not finish. God says, okay, let there be fire. A complete, utter destruction by the loving God who judges sin. And the flame that has burned all the trees of the field. If you've read Revelation, one third of the trees die. There is fire and brimstone coming down from heaven. The beasts of the field cry also unto the God. For the rivers of water are dried up. And in the tribulation, what's not dried up is blood. Go back and read the book of Exodus. And the fire has devoured the pastors of the wilderness. You can't feed your animals with no grass. You can't have no grass when there's been a fire. You can't have where, where the insects have come and eaten everything. And this is all brought to you by God because of the sin of man. And sin caused it. Sin. Judgment. Joe is not a pleasant book to read. 